evolution or intelligent design? Did we, as human beings, evolve from other creatures? Or are we created by a higher power known as God? So hello everyone, my name is Autumn Asphodel and I am a coach to help you live your best life. So, that's what we're talking about in today's video. So let me know what your thoughts are and enjoy it. The origins of human life are debated heavily among those who are science-minded and believe in evolution or Darwinism and those who are religious and believe in intelligent design. These theories are meant to answer the unknown since human beings are naturally curious. Humans are naturally scared of what they don't know and thus have to have an answer to the origins of life so they feel like their life has meaning. That there is a reason why they are here and how they got here. On one hand, the theory of evolution is often taught in school and is based in science. The type of science is questionable to say the least, but is still evidence-based. The idea is that humans evolved from animals that are similar to them, such as monkeys, over centuries. Evidence can be seen by looking at Neanderthals and how they weren't quite human nor ape. Looking at these evolutionary characteristics changed over years, this theory makes a lot of sense to people who want to know how they got here, with science and evidence to back up their beliefs. However, another theory, which was around far longer than evolution, was intelligent design. This one is often religious and involves God or a higher being than humans, creating human beings in his image. Humans are part of God. This theory also implies that God created the universe, the earth, and every living thing in existence. This theory is often found at the root of many religions to give an answer as to how humans got here. Another thing it adds is the purpose in life, which is often to serve God. This will vary based on religion, but the common principle is the same. On one hand, it makes sense with evolution because we evolved from other creatures, but what is the origin of creatures? What happened to the origin of that? Nothing can come from nothing, so there have to have been something, but how did that something, how was that something there? And then intelligent design also poses that same exact question where God created us in, in its image. That is the whole, the whole debate here. But the, always the question remains is, nothing can come from nothing. So where, where did it come to be? How did everything come to be? If God created humans, where did God come from? How did God come to be? There's a lot of questions that are posed here that unfortunately human beings will never have the answer to because human beings cannot fathom the answer to these questions. They're not able or capable of understanding the answers to these questions. So the question always remains, what's actually the truth? But what theory is correct? You can have this debate all day with someone who strongly believes evolution is the answer and someone who thinks intelligent design is the answer, and you will often not be able to change their mind. Both of these theories cloud the eyes, divide people, and make one another appear like an enemy. Does it really matter what the true answer is? How does it affect someone's life? The truth is, it doesn't. People want to give meaning to life, and that includes what happens before they existed during the time of their existence, and what happens after they die. This is a human trait, so no wonder they have come up with ideas as to the origin of human life. But what if they both are correct? What if a higher being created the universe we live in to observe it, yet added a variety to see how things changed over time? What if lower life forms change and evolve, leading to humans? When you look at many of the things that are happening in the world today, you can find many things that can prove there is a power that supersedes human beings. Whether or not this is the god people claim it is remains to be seen. But also looking at how people and creatures adapt and evolve to their surroundings and the things happening to them. Perhaps both have truth to them, but neither are the true undeniable fact. What is true in the here and now is that human's greed for power and knowledge comes at a price. The thirst for power only leads to negative outcomes, and we are seeing it unfold before our eyes. Humans think they are God, and they have unlimited power to do whatever they want, yet know so little 
about their own bodies and the world and universe they live in. They wish to play God, manipulating the genome of animals and humans, altering DNA, and even creating artificial life forms with the sole purpose of merging with them. Transhumanism. The singularity. This is the bigger picture of what humans want, but only a few will be in charge of the rest that must follow orders. Is this the world you want to live in? Or do you want to remain a free human being? The choice is entirely up to you. Let me know how this works for you. Have a great day. Human beings always have to have an answer to something. Living in the unknown, living in fear, creates this uncertainty. You're afraid of the things that you don't know. You're always curious to learn more. You have to have some sort of answer as to how you got here, the reason for your existence, and what happens after you die. If you don't have these things, life seems meaningless, like you don't have a purpose in life, and we all want to have a purpose. But what if the purpose in life isn't so much based on religion or based on this intelligent design? What if our purpose in life is something completely different that we have never thought of? Well, my own personal thoughts on this matter is perhaps both of these types of theories are right to a degree. Perhaps there is some sort of evolution taking place, but it's not exactly as we were taught. Maybe, maybe we didn't, didn't evolve from apes and Neanderthals and all these human beings from, you know, many, many, many years ago. But maybe also God did create us in some sort of way, but maybe it wasn't exactly like that either. Maybe God didn't create us the same exact way as what religion will, will say. Or if it's a bit of a mix of both. Or if there was some creation from a higher being, whether that be God or something else entirely else, some sort of creation happening that we got here, and then we evolved, we adapted, either intentionally or just unexpectedly. That's another big question to ask. What if it was done unexpectedly? What if we were not, what if we, we weren't meant to evolve and it just happened? Or what if it was a very deliberate process, like these human beings are not evolving enough, so we're going to put something in here to allow them to evolve quicker. Who's to say? Who's to say? I don't think that we have the answer to that, but we each need some sort of idea in our mind as to what we think is right. Doesn't always mean it's right, because my theory, it maybe it aligns with yours, maybe it doesn't. But ultimately, every single person watching this, it's going to have a different idea, a different theory as to what happens prior to our birth, during our life, and after we, we die. But not a single person knows the truth, knows the answer to that. We think that we know the answer. Human beings think that they know it all, that they have the whole universe and their body figured out when they know such a mere fraction of this. So the question is always posed then, human beings now playing God. What is that going to do? What sort of havoc is that going to wreak? Who's the same? But transhumanism, this merging with machines that humans have created, that only leaves with devastation because humans cannot play God. Humans are flawed creatures. The universe is flawed. You don't have anything that is perfect. But with that being said, human beings will create their own demise if they continue to mess with the nature and play God and being so greedy and arrogant that they think that they know it all. So that's where I'm going to leave you. Let me know what your thoughts on this subject. I'm really curious to hear them. Be sure to check out the amazing merchandise over at Asphodel Shop for some inspiring designs. It'll be incredible and amazing. Also become a member of $5 Up and Above to get early access to new content before anyone else has public access to it. So I'm going to wish you all a wonderful day. You all take care of a great one. Let me know what your thoughts are on the subject and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.